What's going on? What's going on? Brutus here, bringing you another attack strategy video. This one is Go4, 10v11. Four, go4 four meaning four golems. So stoned, what you hear a lot of, means three golems. And why I like, why I wanted to make an attack strategy video out of this over like stone, which is very, uh, it's very similar. It's the what you look for are very similar. The difference is the stone one, you usually have a back in option for percent to get you over that 50%. For this one, you don't have a back in option. You are getting it during the push. And I have found recently that I am seeing more and more success 10v11 with higher percentage using a go four versus what I usually do uh, for ground. 10v11 of just a stone gobo with a back in baby dragon loon combination or even valkyries i just find way more percent that way um let's let's talk about um two main things of what you're trying to do you're trying to obviously you want to get percentage along the way so the goal is beyond 50 you need to count the freaking buildings and you need to have a unimpeded path non-distracting knowing for sure that they're that your troops are going to target the town hall eventually and you do that by having a elongated or prolonged um funnel like a really wide and deep funnel um so that's where the go for come in because you dedicate two golems 10 bowlers two rages specifically for about 25 to 30 percent as well as that super wide double funnel that I'm getting at. And you can see on bases that it would be really effective at versus others that it would, wouldn't. Let's start right away. For this one, I, um, I'm not gonna go through the other details. I've covered them in other videos, so it is what it is. I have many 10 v 11 attack strategy videos out there with talking points. I have 18 um, bowlers. And basically I have two, I have left over two space. So I brought two archers. Whenever you have that odd number remaining for troop space, I always look for archers, maybe minions. I look for free percent because it's all about that percent game. And, and when you get down to a tiebreaker, the, the percents freaking matter. So every structure does. Uh, how you get that, uh, what, what I saw was I'm gonna put one archer here and one archer here, which is just outside of the range of this mortar and this mortar, uh, and they'll get this, and this, and this. That's the goal. Now, this attack strategy is really fast. So those storages have really high hit points. The archer doesn't do very many damage by himself. Take advantage of the time given to you, three minutes. I can tell you that a gobo push for the town hall will take approximately 80 seconds, a minute and 20 seconds tops. I want you guys to watch in the replay how long it my archer stay here and then actually how long really my pushing force takes to get to the town hall. So I have all this wasted time of three minutes, right? Don't waste it. Take advantage, sit, be patient, take a deep breath. Let your one archers take out these high hit points because you know what? It's still a structure. If you push too early, those archers don't get those structures and rent. All right, so with that out of the way, I got four, go um, four golems. How we're going to do this is exactly in this order. The order that you do this in also matters. You ignore the eagle. The eagle does not exist. He's like, you really shouldn't care. Like, oh my God, where the eagle is placed doesn't matter. It doesn't. Um, what does matter is when uh, the number of 175, which is when the eagle activates. So knowing that you're going to drop a total of 120 plus two rages, which puts you over the 175, because you got 30 for the golem, 30 for the the, uh, the five bowlers, uh, the set. So that's a set of 60 plus a rage. Um, so that's 60, 120 plus two rages is 140. You know, you're not going to activate the um, golem on your funnel. So uh, right here is 30, and then 40. I'm sorry, 60. So 30, 60. I'm going to use four bowlers because they're going to be raged. If I can be skimpy anywhere, uh, oh, I'm sorry. If I can be, I don't want to skimp on my funnel. So I put five bowlers here. 
And that already, I'm at 90 troop space. We'll ignore this, this will be 92, but so 90. And then I want about four. Uh, this is part of my main attacking push. So I want about four bowlers here because I'm two bowlers uh, short out of everything rather than going group uh, sets of five, five, and five, and five. Um, um, this is what I'm doing. <laughs> so I dropped to, um, I might have even, I think I brought miners. In fact, you know what? I know I did. That's why I dropped two bowlers for two miners to help the funnel on this so that my bowlers don't circle. My tanks don't move away from my bowlers that are going to be enraged. So what, while this is all happening and uh, while this structure here is targeting um, this, this mortar, this golem is distracting these two. Um, this, all these things over here are distracted by this golem over here. Uh, this, so basically I have a, um, what I, if this mortar goes down, my bolt, my golem will probably reroute to this archer tower or it might circle the base. Or if this goes down because I have rage bowlers over here and, uh, once that, uh, warden goes down, I don't want my tank to move away from these structures, from these threats to my bowlers coming up and hugging this wall. So by putting two miners, this is why I told you sometimes it is worth it to drop two bowlers for funneling troops. I have two miners coming at this and I deploy them in a way so that by the time that I get the maximum value of my rage bowlers on the top, this guy is going to go down and my bowler is going to bang on this wall. And that's, he's going to, but my, I'm sorry, my golem, yeah, golem's going to bang on the wall, giving more time for my bowlers behind it to get a ton of percent and defensive structures. The third, um, in this timing, my third golem comes like this. And I want to deploy it in a way that it gets the attention of this mortar because the mortar comes just like that. As long as my big beefy butt of my golem is standing right here, it, any part of the golem troop itself inside the circle, will, will de uh, defense will target it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, and the golem is pretty big. So the fourth, once that third one is there, my eagle's already activated, but he's more than likely going to target things to the left. Uh, and not the brand new golems that I put down. So I have a, about a good 15 seconds before the eagle becomes annoying for me. More than likely, by the time that the eagle targets the golem, it'll break in the golemites. The eagle does not retarget after that. It'll shoot the golemites. Uh, and then the, the job of that golem is done already. Like I already got the defensive structures or trash that I needed by the time that the golem uh, is targeted by the eagle and breaks into golemites. That's the beauty of this attack. Um, because the, tar uh, the eagle takes so long to send a shot. The fourth one, uh, golem will take like this, and it'll get the attention of this, 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 uh, and yeah, yeah, and then it'll walk this way, and I'll be fine, and then start get the attention of that. And then I have another set of five bowlers uh, coming this way. And my queen, you guys might be asking, what's up with this guy right here? Before my golem actually comes over and hits this mortar, because I do want him to actually hit this wall to get the attention of that guy, as soon as I drop my third golem, I'm going to drop my queen right here. She'll shoot that and keep walking. And then that'll redirect my golem to hit this wall, getting the attention there and this and this. Timing is important for this. So, rages. Definitely need this rage to come down, plus there is a ton of percent up here. So, I'm going to put a rage right like this, just so that I can get them as the bowlers step up here. And I have a rage right down here like, like this. Same philosophy. Uh, what else did uh, important to note here? The CC line doesn't, does it come out? I think it does. I think it overlaps slightly like this. And the reason why I'm okay with this, I actually planned on the CC to get lured to the top. The reason being is my queen is way down here. So if it's a hound loon, I'm freaking titties. <laughs> the hound loon would just like be uh, targeting um, my offensive troops that I deployed first that will be wounded already, weakened already, and most importantly, already accomplished their goal. 
So if you want to fly around over there and pick off whatever's remaining after they did their objective, have at it. It only supports my queen on the bottom part. Uh, so there's that. There, then the jumps will be because um, for, for natural flowing reasons, I'm going to have a jump like this, which bridges this line and this line, rather than just wasting it right here. And I have another jump upward like this because there's less defensive uh, point defense up here than there is over here. Plus, I don't want uh, a wad of bowlers coming in to be splashed. And I, you know, point defense sh shoots one troop versus splash defense shooting a whole bunch. So I do want the jump up here, upwards like this to lean that way to get more percent um, towards the very last few moments. All right. And then, of course, the last last part is a rage. Do, is there a giant bomb right here? Yeah, there is. <laughs> uh, there's a giant bomb around here, but I'm going to have, in theory, more th um, the the bowlers are going to jump in there. Not all at once. They're going to come in at sections. Plus, the giants get uh, targets defenses first, so he'll go in there first to set off a bomb before my bowlers do. That are ranged, uh, ranged rather, not uh, R A N G E D. <laughs> Uh, here's my third rage, and that's to basically take care of this, 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 and then keep pushing like that. So when we're uh, uh, let's let's talk about oh I'm sorry and my last part here. So I have four bo uh, four golems. Oh my god, stop it! Four golems. One, two, three, and four. This golem and this golem more than likely are going to sustain long enough because the point defenses on the side are going to be targeting other golems and then I have CC um, one giant the CC combination one giant five bowlers and the BK which is a kind of a tank to go like this and they should not redirect the route they'll stay nice and funneled straight through uh, and that's how I'm going to get the town hall at the very end uh, the queen will also take the jump because everything will be prolonged um, funneled so to, to let's let's recap uh, real quick and you can we'll count down when the ego is going to actually activate by the numbers going we'll clear this up and then I'll summarize it here so to look at it as sections what we have is uh, a, a 60 troop space 60 will get me this okay that's the first set golem six bow uh, five bowlers and then 70 is the rage. So I got 70 will get me this, 70 troop space. I also have, uh, not necessarily in this, this number, but well, we might as well do it in the number so it makes more sense. Um, another 70 plus 60 minus 6, 54. So I have 154 that'll get me this. One golem, four bowlers to get me this. So I'm up to 170, uh, 124 because it's, 56 plus 70. No, got to not count. It's 54 plus 70. It's 124. Um, the 124, the moment I put down my golem right here, uh, my, the golem activates. Because remember, uh, I have two archers down here, so technically I'm at 126. Oh, no, it doesn't. Uh, the 156 will be the golem coming out here. My queen is worth 25. Uh, and that puts me over the eagle activation. So the eagle will activate by the time I put down my queen is what you'll see. Uh, but the other golem, so one set of the golem is here, right? The, uh, and then partial part of the funnel, part of the kill squad will start here. The other sacrificial funnel, the golem, five bowler, and combination will get me this. And so this leaves me two golems, BK, and about, oh, I don't know, 12, tw not 12, 10, we'll say 10. No, no, it's more than that. It's like 12 bowlers. This is the angle that they have left. You guys see it now? All this will be gone. For, t for look at the point defense remaining. One, two, three. Three, four, five, six. And but they're all in different angles. These things are all gonna be targeting different troops or different golems or golemites as I'm jumping in. So um, take your guess. How much percent do you think I get doing this? Is this a 52? Is this a 55? Is this a 59? 
60, 70? Well, stay, uh, stay tuned for the next three minutes and find out. Once again, it's Brutus reminding you, you got to be better than a double. And I'll check you next time.